Good morning guys, I hope that you are doing well. My name is Abdel Salim Garba. I'm a chartered accountant and influencer on YouTube. I created this YouTube channel to share with uh, young African people advice, great advice, the most, the, the best advice uh, uh, related to, to employment, entrepreneurship uh, and personal development because I'm convinced that the development of Africa cannot achieve without uh, awaken uh, without uh, young African people, without involvement of young African people in the, in, the, in the development of this continent. We need to be part of this continent, to, of this uh, work, this development, this improvement, uh, the, of the improvement of our continent, of, the, of uh, other people's lives in our Africa continent. You know that today I will share with you um, a summarized first part uh, of uh, summarize uh, of the book of uh, Mr. Peter Thiel, Thiel. Mr. Peter Thiel, who who wrote uh, who wrote sorry who wrote a book uh, entitled How to in Innovate How to Innovate from Zero to One. So this book is a very great book for entrepreneurship and startup because um, he gave great advices, seven questions, important questions for everybody, for anybody who wants to create a billion dollar startup company. So, Mr. Peter Thiel, who is it? It is the co-founder of PayPal, PayPal which is a startup known well known now in USA and in the world who 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 the, the, for who, which has the value of 120 billion dollars today at this day uh, at this date uh, in stock exchange and you know that uh, Peter Thiel no, he founded he co-founded PayPal and he he invested in Facebook LinkedIn and SpaceX with Elon Musk. Elon Musk, which is the second most richest billionaires in the world. So, he, the, this guy, Peter Thiel, who gave in his book great, great advice uh, you need to know, to be aware of, to, to create a billion dollar startup company. He said that before to, to, to know, you know that, he said that uh, you have two kinds of progress in two kinds of progress. You have the horizontal progress, horizontal progress where, where when you want to just copy other guys, other products, other service, other company. And if you want to innovate, you, you will make a, a vertical progress. You know that he said that in this in our in our period, the guys, the entrepreneur, and the companies who will be very rich and who will be billionaires companies will be the companies who will innovate, who will make, who will go from zero to one, not the company who just copy and paste what other people done or have already done. For the, so if you want to be a, if you want to create a billionaire dollars company startup in the future, you need to follow for him seven to to answer for him to seven main main seven main questions. Before this, before I will start to this to tell you about these seven main questions i will start first with the fundamental question he said that you need to to answer he said that if you answer to this question i will tell you now you will start the path of billion dollar startup company to create a billion dollar start company startup company the main the fundamental question first general question you need to to answer is have you a truth a fundamental truth that you are convinced 
only you are only convinced and which is different from other people from general people have you any opinion that you are convinced that this is the change if it's happened in the future you can create a very great progress you can have a great impact but other people are not convinced of usually the guys want to discourage you have you have you in are you have you a truth that you are only you only convinced of if you have one of one you if you have this truth which or this conviction which is proper which is uh, adapt which is your conviction and you are convinced very convinced of you need to be you need to you, you, you are starting the journey to create to innovate to create a billion dollar startup company so for you for 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 peter Thiel, before to start to create a startup company you need first to answer to the, this general general question and now you need to answer to seven main questions in this video i will share with you three of these seven questions you need to answer and for the video for the for video for tomorrow tomorrow i will share you the second part of these questions so for this video the first question you need to answer is the question of monopoly what does it means the question of monopoly it does it means for peter for peter Thiel, peter Thiel, that you need to create a, a unique offer a unique proposal so so unique so specific that it neutralizes the competition you need to create an offer which will be very different of your competition and which um, which is which prevents your competition to copy and paste you very simply and very quickly for example he said that if you look at amazon amazon create an offer in 20 years which is very difficult to copy and paste but the key a specific key to create a, a unique offer which neutralize the competition the key is is to start in a niche market you need to start your offer your product your product you need to address it in a niche to a niche market niche market specific and uh, you need to be specific in your market if you take the market of beauty beauty for example don't choose all the market of beauty be focused on her dresses uh, her or dresses or pants or nail polishes etc choose a niche like amazon amazon when he started Amazon with Jeff, with Jeff Jeff Bezos when he started he started with a niche of book he create his website to sell only books online and after have success with this niche he added CD uh, uh, accessories uh, uh, small tools etc etc TV, computer, or etc., etc. But you need, if you want to be successful, to have to create a monopoly, you need a monopoly. You need to learn to start by a niche market and start small and small to aggregate new niche until you create the monopoly. The second question you need to answer. Um, by peter Thiel to create a billion dollar startup company to innovate and to create progress is the question of sustainability you know that a monopoly has no value has value only if 
the monopoly is sustainable in long term game so you know that if you want that your monopoly will be sustainable you need to be focused on cash flow potential you know for example if i take if uh, i take just a quick one example compare make a quick compa comparison be between um, the new york times and twitter both are companies new york times are a big companies um, twitter is is a big com com big companies twitter is a startup social network but a startup both are information uh, uh, are giving information to people to millions of people both have around thousand of people in terms of employee and staff and staff both new york times has been valued uh, at two billion dollars company uh, when Twitter was has been valued at 24 billion dollars company in when Twitter has 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 done his first introduction in stock exchange market. Know that if you compare both value for the first introduction introduction in stock exchange market. Twitter has been valued at $24 billion and New York Times has been valued at $2 billion. In the same times, New York Times has done in net profit around $118 million. And in, in the same times, Twitter has made losses in the same times. Why both companies with same structure, similar structure, with same work has been valued with this big difference? Because the key is cash flow generation. Twitter has been valued a lot of 12 times than uh, New York Times because of his ability to generate for his shareholders a lot of cash flow in 10, 15 and 20 years in the future. New York Times, the shareholders are, conv are not convinced that he can, cannot generate in enough of cash flow in 10 and 15 and 20 years in the future. So, the monopoly situation you need to create it first but this monopoly should be should be sustainable in long term in 10 years in 15 years years in 10 years in 15 years in 20 years we need to you know you need with your startup to create a monopoly uh, situation sustainable for a very long term. In terms of cash flow, you should convince your shareholders that your company can generate enough and a lot of cash flow in futures. So that's the first example to illustrate how to create a monopoly situation in sustainability. Another example, if you take LinkedIn, LinkedIn is a social network. In 2014, LinkedIn was valued at $24.5 billion. In, in the same times, LinkedIn has doing in terms of net profit hundred uh, sorry around $20 million in terms of net profit. In the same years of introduction, introduction in, say, in stock exchange, in stock exchange market, you are at, LinkedIn are doing is doing uh, the 
a net profit of 20 million dollars but his value in the stock exchange market his introduction his entry value in the stock exchange market uh, has amounted to 24.5 billion dollars why because of ability of LinkedIn to generate enough cash flow in 10 15 years in futures so your monopoly situation you need to create it first but you need to be focused again to the sustainability of your monopoly situation to, to close this second question you need to be answered by peter till peter till uh, said that the the world is ruled by the law of power which is already called the 80 20 rule of pareto 80 20 um, rule of pareto you know you know that he said that only 20 percent of in entrepreneurs and firms will create and generate 80 percent of value of a rich of wealthy in in the future in the world if you want to be part of this 20 percent of guys who we create in enough of value enough of wealthy you need to be to pay attention to the monopoly the monopoly of situation you can create and the sustainability of your monopoly peter till the last one said that you can apply this principle to your own life in you need to know that don't try to to look for 20,000 skills to learn to acquire don't try to acquire many many many, many skills his advice is to try to be focused on one you are good at and try to be expert to become an expert in in your area of expertise and again try to answer to one question how can i generate enough of value of cash flow from this expertise in future how can i generate enough value for other people with this expertise in the in this in the future if you can be focused on your area of expertise and try to answer to how you can generate enough of value by application 20 80 80 20 rule of pareto you will be you you will you will become you uh, you, you, will, you you will you will answer to questions who will allow you to create a billion dollar startup company the third question you need to answer uh, by peter till to create a billion dollar startup company to innovate is the question of engineering the question of engineering means that have you created a technology of an exclusive technology have you created or have you created an a technology which is different from other for, for other who was already created or just is a simple editing of existing technologies your company should can be could be there in 10 years in the in the future will be there in 10 years in future have you make a difference with your technology if you answer to this question you can you are still creating a billion dollar startup company he said that you have three kind three, three means three means to reach a monopoly situation if you create a technology who can use social impact 
net social network or network impact effect where you can create a monopoly situation what does it mean by net uh, a, a technology who who will use who, who will use network effect or network impact for example if you take facebook facebook the more the guy the more, more users are the more people are using facebook the better the application will improve and the better the service will be improved so by usage by people who are, who is using the, the the technology the technology will be improved like that you, you are creating the you created a technology an exclusive technology who will use who will generate for you a monopoly situation the second means the second means manner second manners to 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 create a monopoly situation is by using quantity if quantity um, to put is, is is to create a lot of compound products but in the same time same time to reduce the cost of production so that means it it means that you are using economy scales scales economy you know that the more you product you make the more the more you produce you are producing the less the cost is cheaper so if the cost is is low as is low because of the the volume you are producing you are producing that's good you, you are creating a monopoly situation because if you if for example you take apple it is is very expensive to apple to apple to create 100 iphones than to create 100 and thousand iphones so because of the volume you are producing the cost of production is less so that's a good situation for you to create a monopoly situation the third one is to create a positive brand a positive brand image a positive brand which have a visibility great visibility great um great image you know that for example if you take apple apple means is associated is related to modernity to luxury to design very designful very very well designed to high quality so all these top terms all these qualities are related to are associated to apple brand if you want to create a monopoly situation in long term you can create a brand which has a positive image to his consumers like that the consumers the your your brand will impact the the the, the main the the user the company will impact your consumers will impact the use the usage and the habits of your consumers the consume consumption habit of your consumer so this is the third way to create a monopoly situation the first one by um that created uh, by using economy scale the second one by uh, by by using uh, um uh, a different uh, sorry uh, by using uh, network network effects and by using positive brands positive positive image of your brand so these are the two third questions you need to answer if you want to create to innovate and to create a billion dollar startup company the first question to remind you is to create a monopoly situation the second one your monopoly situation need to be sustainable the third one the third the third question 
is engineering question engineering question question you need to create an exclusive technology to make the difference i hope that these third questions um, and these advices gave uh, in his book by peter chill will help you will be useful for you for your entrepreneur uh, journey or for your for at any time for anything you need to create uh, to 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 innovate if you want to innovate in your business or in your in, in your life uh, I, I hope that this will be useful to you if this video will help you is useful for you please don't forget to put me a like and please share don't hesitate to share with your friends your colleagues because information is great to be sharing to every africans to be awakened there and to, to we need to be developed we need to be involved together in the development of africa if we, need, we want to be developed we need to be aware of the great practices the best practices the best experience we can take from we can we can take we can learn from to create our continent to innovate in our con continent if you are not subscribing at, at this time please don't forget to subscribe now uh, and share share with everything thanks for watching our videos to tomorrow i uh, will revert you with the second part of the summary of his book how to innovate from zero to one for peter Thiel. thanks you for watching our video take care cheers